Hello there. I just wanted to show you the cover actor in in uh, in action, really. So let's put this back to its normal value. What the cover generation actor does is it sets up a it looks for the nav mesh edges. So these green lines here looks for the edges of the nav mesh, and it does a series of um, first up it breaks the edge up into nodes Let's see if we can find one that's actually being processed at the time there you go it breaks it up into a series of nodes and then the nodes get probed um yes that sounds kind of weird doesn't it so you'll see these kind of red dots and yellow things at the top of them well the yellow dots are the positions of the probe so the height sort of sample and you'll see that these red dots Uh, sorry, the blue dots have these red lines coming out of them. The red lines are essentially um, ray casts out into the world to say whether you've collided with something. So if you see a red line, you know you've collided with a surface in that direction. And the probes themselves, the yellow points, um, have currently eight direction probes coming out of them, but essentially that can be any number and there could be any number of heights so right now i've 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 normally got three but i've disabled the first one so that you only have standing and crouching and the idea being that it will probe the whole area looking for crouching and standing cover so eventually it'll get onto this area and you can see how it how it kind of works on that so what you normally going to have is that as you're editing the world it'll regenerate these regions so it'll regenerate these nav mesh tiles and as that happens the cover generator will kick in and generate the cover points as well and then at runtime it does the same kind of thing but obviously without any of the debug drawing so this is this is literally just debug drawing cover things as we're making them and it's taking a while because obviously the drawing the debug sort of raycasts and stuff actually adds more time to it anyway not just that though there's there's also the fact that um well it's it is actually quite a sort of uh expensive process to do like the actual ray casting is considerable amount of cpu time so you don't want to do it all at once and what you actually have to end up doing is um doing it in basically one at a time weird how it's doing that twice yeah that that's really very quite weird we'll see i don't have any control over the ordering of the nav mesh edges there we go this we're sort of doing this area now so you'll see that it's it's generating cover probes and it gives you like cover so these edges aren't necessarily contiguous so this will come along later on and it'll say okay so any red dot is essentially a point of hard cover for a particular direction and each of these directions, so there's eight directions right now, goes into a thing called a bit mask. So you can do really quick maths to say, I need cover from this direction, figure out which bit is in that mask, and then check against all of the cover points with that particular bit set on. And if it is set, then I can take cover there and know that I'm safe. And so each for each height that you can potentially take cover, so if you could crouch down, behind uh, you know crouch cover that means you're safe when you're crouched but not when you're standing which means you've actually got a shot which is probably not a bad thing so there's different heights of cover essentially different cover probes tell you whether you've got cover from different heights and this isn't i mean it's not a thousand percent ideal because you could ray cast through something uh there might be a hole in the wall and you could potentially ray cast through that but we I don't really need know whether it'd be a good idea to raycast or rather sort of sphere cast through it. Maybe try that at some point. 
But there you go, it's generating cover, which is kind of what we need. So now that it's just a matter of adding squad code to pick a cover point to um, get cover from a particular direction. So the directions are just bit masks, and I can do a really simple bitwise arithmetic to tell. Um, so the process itself is pretty... Ooh, the process itself, sorry, that was a bit loud, is pretty... Um, simple really it, it generates a, a bunch of n potential nodes does ray casts out from each cover probe point and s sticks that value in a bitmap to say whether the probe was hit or not and you know obviously you can see that the red lines indicate that there was a ray cast hit um so it generates a, a, pro a point if there's any hits in a specific direction you can see Obviously, the hits in this direction here. It's actually quite a simple system, but generally works pretty well. And you can tweak all of the values in here in the cover generation actor. So, you know, you can add, well, I'll be making so you can add cover point probe points and stuff like that. Maybe some kind of config, whatever. So that's it. The generation's working. Now it's on to making it actually going to do the behavior use you know using that stuff for the behavior and then the next part is making it so that it patches itself at runtime which is kind of required theoretically it will do that right now but it will basically regenerate the whole mesh so i need to just invalidate the segments of the map you know the, the sort of green lines that need to be reprobed um, and some way of deleting those probe points and that kind of thing. So there you go. That's of a generation working. Pretty easy to do, weirdly enough. Uh, obviously, it'll be a lot harder getting it cleaned up and making it look nice. Oh, and the other thing is that you'll have like a little indicator down here. Pops up saying generating cover points or zero of N kind of thing. You know, like number. Just so that you know that it's generating the... the cover point after it's generated the nav mesh so there you go unreal engine stuff um i shall be showing you some more of this once we've got the the actual behaviors in and done working hopefully in a more interesting map than this one but that should get you started and um, i shall see you on the next one